Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to review the Ishin EV800 DFPV goggles. This is the upgraded version of the excellent EV800 goggles. The big difference is that now these goggles featuring a diversity system, whereas this one only had one single antenna. In addition, the older version had a 2000 mAh 1S battery and the new one has a 1200 mAh three cells battery and of course the new version also includes a DVR. So let's open the box and see what we've got inside. So inside the box we've got the goggles, an AC adapter to charge the built-in battery, the instructions manual, a carrying case, an RCP cloverleaf antenna, a patch antenna, a cloth to clean the screen and we've got also this AVM adapter and this adapter that allows you to use a three cells LiPo battery as an external power source. At the first glance, you can see that mo most of the things have been left unchanged in these goggles and the design is identical. However, they added two major things in the, on top, you can see that now we have two models in the EV800D. The, the models that these goggles are using are the RX 5808, which is widely used in the diversity market. We have here the SD slot that supports up to 64 gigabytes of SD cards. The weight of the EV800 is 376 grams and the EV800D weighs 10 grams less, about 366 grams, probably because of the battery that its size has been reduced. Like the EV800 goggles, the display can be taken apart in this manner and then you can just use it as an FPV screen and you can also connect it to a tripod on the bottom. The screen remained the same, it's a 5 inch 800 by 480 pixels screen. Turning on the goggles is done with this power button, you need to long press it, then the Ishin logo will appear, this is new, because they changed the operating system since they're using two separate systems for the DVR and for displaying the video. You can see right now on the top left, it says diversity because it is using the diversity model. If you want, we can switch between the other models by pressing the SRC once, now it's on B, now on A, and if you press it once more, now it's on AV. Pressing it again, we'll go back to diversity. Over here we have the frequency and the channel, and we have also its number. On the right side, we have the battery status. You can see right now the battery is almost depleted. If you would like to change the channel or the band manually, you will have to press the channel band button. If you short press it, it will alter between all the channels. And if you long press it, you can now change the frequency. If you would like to search for it automatically, just press the search button. Now the diversity module is auto searching between all the available channels. You can see that right now we didn't find the best signal. So if you're having problems, press the, this again and hopefully now it will find the best channel. And now it's okay. Entering is the, me the menu is done by long pressing the SRC menu button. Then you can just move between all the options by pressing the SRC menu. You can change the brightness, contrast, color, sharpness, rotation, volume, you can power off, change the language, and you can change the display ratio. And if you would like to change the settings, just short press the channel plus button and it will be changed. In addition, we have on the top the DVR menu, but unfortunately it's not working yet. Hopefully Ishin will release an update soon because at the moment you can't play the recorded DVR and on the goggles, which is a big flow in my opinion. Short pressing the pick button will snap a picture and if we long press it, it will start recording. We have this recording indication and now the DVR is working. If you would like to stop the video, just short press it. If you'd like to stop the recording, just short press it and then the video recording will be saved to the SD card. When you'd like to turn off the goggles, you can either use it through the menu, which I've shown you before, or just long press the power off button and it will power off. Next in the video, I'm taking it outside and I'm going to compare the video of the EV800 with the EV800D by just recording the screen. Unfortunately, the DVR wasn't worked for me because the card was a little bit faulty and after I formatted it, now it's working. But the DVR function is not 100% baked for, in my opinion, I'm not sure if it's only this specific goggles or it's in general. 
from what I've seen so far, the DVR functionality of the VRD2 is better than the EV800 because over here you, you have the playback and it's working, I think, better than the DVR in these goggles, which for me, it didn't totally work. So if you have a similar experience, please write, write it in the comment section below. And so I'll know it's not just my unit specific. The good part is, in my opinion, these goggles are very comfortable, they are light, the built-in battery is a great feature and it also enables you to use an external one so you're not just stuck with the battery that is inside. And also the modular design is pretty convenient, especially if you'd like to share your FPV experience with other people. And so you just can put it on a stand and everybody can watch you flying. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video and I'll see you on my next ones. Goodbye.